Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm releasing this video because there is some new breaking news that has just been announced by Microsoft about some new billing options now available for Copilot Studio. In fact, it is so important that I'm going to skip my intro video and we're going to jump right into it. So the announcement was made on March 25th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the time is because Satya Nadella himself made this announcement where he himself is in an AI tour in Asia and therefore the 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But here are the two big ones. The first one is lowering message consumption rates and autonomous actions is going to be renamed to agent actions. These are the two big ones. Now, before I double click on each of these, I know that there are some of you who are saying, Daniel, I have no clue what you're talking about. So can you give me some backstory on this? And just for you guys, I'm going to retell the story which I did in a video back in January. So here we go. There were two announcements that was made about Microsoft 365 Copilot chat and the agent consumption rates of Copilot Studio. And they also gave a breakdown of what exactly that $30 per user per month actually meant. Because originally we knew it was just Copilot chat, but however, now it has the breakdown of all of these features. So you see in the bottom where it says that plus and then the things in the bottom, we finally got information about that. Also, it gave us this detailed line by line items of what is free and what comes along with the $30 per user per month. But there were also these announcements made. So the big one was about the agent consumption rate. And it said that now these agents are measured in messages. Also, for the licenses, we had some new options. So now there is the pay as you go, which is basically one cent per message. Then there is the message packs, which is the $200 per tenant. And then there was the combination of the Copilot Studio and Microsoft 365 Copilot. The new features that were announced was the web grounded answers, the tenant graph grounding for messages, and the autonomous actions. So you see the last two options about the new features, that is the change that was made. In addition, we got details about what these consumption rates are going to be. So let me focus on the last two ones because those are the ones that just got changed. So the first one is the tenant graph grounding for new messages. What that basically means is that anytime you're going to go ahead and get relevant information from Microsoft 365, which also includes your files that are stored in SharePoint, anytime you go ahead and do that action, that consumed 30 messages. Also, anytime you went ahead and did the anonymous actions that consumed 25 messages. However, the new announcement that we just heard changes all of it. So here's the new consumption rate for the tenant graph grounding for messages. Instead of 30, it is now only 10, a third of the original price. And for the autonomous actions, it goes from 25 to five, a fifth, a fifth of it. So as you can see, both of these have significantly dropped. But let me take you through a scenario which I talked about in the previous video. So for the agent consumption rates, let's just say that this is one of your scenarios where you've actually built an agent which is going to help you go ahead and book a flight. But in order to do that, it goes and gets some information about say where you're located from one knowledge source, goes in and gets checks to see what's the good weather at that time. So which flight you should go and do. All of these things are done by the agent. And for each and every one of them, there is a different consumption of the message. So for the first action on the top, which is to get current weather, just to get that information, it would consume 25 messages. And then to go ahead and get information from say your knowledge source, such as SharePoint, it would go ahead and use 30 messages over there and then so on and so forth. So the overall consumption was pretty high at that time. However, now with this new consumption rate, here's the first change. You see everything that had to do with get weather and also book a flight. Well, that just got sliced from 25 to only five messages. Also for going ahead and getting some knowledge from your knowledge source, that 30 messages, well, that just got sliced into only 10 messages. So here's another scenario which is important to go through because it will solidify the importance of this pricing change. So here's an example of a sales support agent. And this agent will answer employee questions based on sales data that is connected to Microsoft Graph using Graph Data Connectors. 
And in this case, the average consumption over here was about 100 unlicensed users. So the estimated cost over here was four generative answers and four tenant Microsoft graph grounded messages. So if you saw the original math over here, which I've shown in the formula below, it took 12,800 messages from the message pack or a total of $128 if you go on the pay as you go model. And that was for every time this conversation was going on. However, now with this new pricing option that has come out, instead of 12,800 messages, we are going consuming only 4,800 messages. So that gives you more messages back into your pool if you went with that message pack of 25,000 messages per month. But it also helps if you went with the pay as you go because the total price, which used to be $128, well, guess what? It just dropped down to $48. So the overall cost has actually dropped by 37.5%. That is significant. And this is a huge boost to the overall number of messages that you have back in your queue. The second announcement is the autonomous actions is being renamed to agent actions. Because if you remember, when I announced this back in January, one of the new features was autonomous actions. However, that name was just not sitting very well. And therefore, Microsoft decided that instead of calling it autonomous actions, just change it to agent actions. And therefore, it just makes overall understanding of it much easier. So these were the two big announcements that was made. The first one definitely puts money back in your pocket because the overall consumption of the messages significantly reduces. So hopefully this video was useful to you about this change that is happening both in a naming convention and most importantly, the consumption rates. And as always, keep using Copilot Studio.